I've just come back from spending three weeks in the deserts around Central Australia and taking people on retreats where we sleep on the ground in swags and look up at the stars which are amazing and sit around and have conversations around a campfire in a very relaxed way, away from all trappings of civilization. It's always a time for me and the people we travel with to get things clear again. Uh, it's a time where I find my soul is, is renewed and, and encouraged and my dependence on God again is refreshed. Why is that? Why is wilderness so important? If we look at the reading from Mark that we're going to think about today, uh, Jesus was thrust into this wilderness for a significant time before he launched into his ministry. What do we know about wilderness and what do we know about the importance of wilderness in the Bible? In both the Old and New Testaments, the word is translated from a Greek noun, Eremia, and the translation is sometimes desert and sometimes wilderness. So the idea is that Wilderness is a place that can be a harsh environment, certainly outside of the village environment, and often it has an awe-inspiring aspect to it. It's not a tamed place. It's a wild place. People in that place can feel vulnerable, even terrified, but it can also be a place of new resources and clarification. That's the physical place, but we also understand in the Bible that the place of wilderness is something that's a spiritual place. It's a time or a place where we aren't comfortable. There aren't the distractions of normal humdrum things of life maybe even loneliness, but it's a place where we can go deeper to the deeper things of God and being human and being a disciple. In other words, there are resources there for us, just as there were for Jesus when he was thrust into that place and had a time of clarity about his vision for his ministry. Jesus was thrust into the wilderness just like many people are in our Old Testament and New Testament. He wasn't the only one. In fact, many significant things have happened for people in the wilderness. Abraham wandered there for more of half of his, his life and discovered his true vocation. Isaac and Jab Jacob wandered there, and Jacob in particular discovered his true self and became a changed man. Moses wandered in the wilderness during the years later in his life, and he discovered the power of God, and to his surprise became the channel of God's will. Even the nation of Israel wandered in the wilderness and they discovered something of what it is to be the people of God. Elijah spent time waiting in the wilderness for the Lord's for the further word and he discovered that God's promises are true. John the Baptist lived in the wilderness so it seems to be, if we look at all of these experiences, that the wilderness or the desert or the place away from the comforts and the distractions of our human doings are a place to recharge our inner and spiritual self. It's usually for a particular time and it's always for a constructive purpose not just for that experience, but for living out our discipleship later on. 
can be scary out in the desert. And it can be scary in the wilderness times in our life. However, if we wait and be still, we can discover we're dependent again and dependent on a loving God. In this passage in our Mark reading, Jesus is thrust into the desert and he has his values, focus on his values, clarified again. He's tested and he has to become aware of his humility and his dependence on God. So there's solitude and there's hardship, but it breeds a clarity of spirit, new conviction. As a disciple of Jesus, maybe we should think about both the physical wildernesses that we need to spend time in and also look afresh at the spiritual wildernesses see them rather as a time to set our purpose, be tested and find new resources within ourselves and with the presence of the loving God. Most of us look back on our lives and think of times where we were stretched and maybe alone in a wilderness time as being a time of discovering new resources. I just want you to think about your own experience of wilderness, spiritually or physically, and remember that it can be bringing you new life and refreshment. I know that when I go out into the desert each year, it does. And the Hebrew people even have a feast to celebrate their time in the desert called the Feast of Sukkot, where they put up little tents on the roofs of their buildings to remember what it's like to not own the land, not be comfortable in the land, but rather be sojourning in the land, depending on God and his kingdom values for our lives. Mm.